Do you play guitar, piano, or ukulele? Well, I'm Philip Nelson for Geek Beat TV, and I'm going to show you the app that you need to go buy right now. In the break, I was actually corrected by John P. It's not called a ukulele, it's called a, according to him, ukulele. So uh, anyway, so take it for what it's worth. But the app is called Songbook Pro. It retails for $5.99 and it is unbelievable. It's really helped me a lot with my music. So let's take a look into the app. So if we click on Songbook Pro, it basically is a music piece of software. You can download songs. If I want to find a song, I click the little earth, it goes onto the web and I can search for the name of a song that I'm looking for. So let's say, um, let's do uh, Viva La Vida, V-I-V-A La. And so what it does is it goes to either Bing, Google, or another search engine, and it looks for the Chord Pro version of that song. So we'll see Viva La Vida by Coldplay, guitar chords and tabs and lyrics. So we click on that, it's from Chordy.com, and once it downloads it, we hit import, and it actually imports it into our software. So when you buy the software, it actually is blank. It has green sleeves, and then you add your own music. So let's go back into the app, and I'm gonna show you some really cool features here. So you'll see that it has all the songs that I've either typed in or downloaded. So let's go to, so let's pick our song, Viva La Vida. So we scroll down, we find Viva La Vida right here. And what you'll see is it's got your chords. It says Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Put capo on first fret. But it tells you your chords. And you'll see that on the, on the music, if we don't know what a chord is, if we don't know what the D chord is, we click D. And it actually shows us that this is the D chord. And it shows you everywhere on the neck that you can play the D chord, which is really neat. So if we want to see a C chord, it's a great tool. There's the C. And here's another place to play the C. So you'll see it sounds the same. So because I need to sing it in the right key, let's capo this baby and you'll, you'll see how cool this software really is. There's a couple other buttons at the bottom of the screen. There's the play button, there's the metronome, there's the size of the font. I can click this little button and it shows me all the chords that are in the song. What's really cool is let's say this, is, this song's too low for me or too high. I can transpose it. So you see right now it's at a C and a D and a G and an E minor. I can move that up a half step move it up a full step, and now it's changed the chords to D, E, and A, and, and F uh, sharp minor. So it is an awesome, awesome piece of software. So let's, let's have some fun and play this just a little bit. there's one problem. When I get to the bottom of this page, what do I do? I don't want to stop the song and scroll up. Well, what Chord Pro allows you to do is you can hit the play button and you'll see that it actually starts scrolling for me. So that as I'm playing, when I get to the bottom, it scrolls up. I used to roll the dice, fear the fear in my enemy's eyes. So it's a really, really cool app, but there's more to this app. So let's go back to all songs. So if you're playing a gig and you have two sets of music and there's 30, 40 songs in a set, I can actually go back to categories and take a look at playlists. So you'll see that I have multiple playlists. So I have set one, set two. So there's 24 songs in set one and 23 in set two. So what's really cool is if I'm playing live and I'm a brown eyed girl and I play it, and I get to the end of the song, I just swipe to the right, and it goes to the next song for me. So as a live musician, this is an unbelievable tool. It's also a great tool for learning. There's something else I want to show you in this app that I really think is pretty neat, because I mentioned whether you're a, a ukulele player, piano player, or a guitar player, this app can really help you. If we go into our settings, we can tell it what instrument we want to play. So if I hit mandolin, piano, ukulele, baritone, um, we can, let's go to ukulele C because I don't say it correctly, but it sounds better to me. We hit done, and if we go back to our songs, we go to Viva La Vida. Now when I click on the C chord, you'll notice it's a four-stringed instrument. It's showing you the, the ukulele chords. So <laughs> um, it is really neat. And, and I'll just show you one more sample of, of changing this and show you the piano because I had never played the piano in my life, but I was playing around with this app and I say, wow, the piano chords are pretty simple. And so I impressed my kids. So, uh, and you can too, you can look like you know what you're doing with this app. 
So this is really neat. Now, one other feature I'm going to tell you about that's in uh, Songbook Pro that is awesome is that it has support for Dropbox. So if you have a Dropbox account and you have Songbook Pro on your iPad, Songbook Pro on your iPhone, I can actually just sync it to Dropbox. And, and where I use it is if I'm typing in my own music, I do it on a word processor on my Mac, and I just save those the, the uh, format to my Dropbox, it automatically shows up on my uh, iPad. So. I have to say, as a musician that plays around, this is probably the most valuable piece of software I've found for a gigging musician or a beginner, because my dad wanted to learn guitar. I just installed this on his iPad, found the songs he's interested in, and he's trying to play them. So I have to say, you got to check this out, and, and uh, it's called Songbook Pro. It's available on iTunes for the iPad and iPhone, and one purchase gets it on both apps and uh, I hope you check it out. If you'd like to check out more reviews, go to youtube.com slash geekbeattv. I'm Philip Nelson. You can follow me on Twitter, at Philip Nelson with one L. And I appreciate you checking this review out. I hope to catch you jamming at a city that I visit soon.